Matt Wallace is getting absolutely crushed by the gamers of Twitter, and you love to see it. Look here, Matty boy, if you want to cover on the news, if you want to talk about how the liberals are taking over video games, stay in your lane. We got this, we've had this for the last 10 years. You did absolutely nothing but serve to make yourself look like a fool, an absolute clown, when even the individuals who would typically agree with you just look at you and think, this is sad, it's kind of pathetic. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Idol, and we gotta talk about this, we gotta talk about the the fact that Matt Walsh and frankly all the Daily Wire at this point are getting just absolutely clowned on by anybody with any sort of clout or credit in the video game YouTube space when it comes to, you know, talking about the Sweet Baby Ink stuff or referring to the general wokeness in video games that's been going on since literally the original Gamer Game. But if you need the context, if you need to know what Matty Boy with the bearded wonder had to say, well, let's take a look here. Is that the video game industry without a lot of fanfare? has transformed into a tool of both propaganda and surveillance. It's an effective way to indoctrinate children precisely because it hasn't received much attention and also because Precisely because it hasn't received a bunch of attention. Homeboy, tell us you ain't been paying attention to YouTube for the last 10 years without telling us you haven't been paying attention to YouTube for the last 10 years because this has literally been so many people's bread and butter, like exclusively what they make content on. Like You can go back to the OG days of Gamergate when you had individuals like, like Chris Raygun talking about this sort of thing. And honestly, you can even go further and say, hey, what about Geeks and Gamers? Or what about Neurotic? What about Ed? What about Asmund Gold? What about the new age of individual creators such as, you know, myself, Cult Classic Cage, Hypnotic? There has been quite literal generations of YouTubers over the last 10 years that have been talking about this, and it has, quite frankly, been in the mainstream media more than a handful of times. But you don't care. The reason you say there's not been a light shined on it is because you've been too busy denouncing it, too busy saying that, oh, this is kid stuff, it's not even worth our time. You've been too busy losing the culture war because the right wing, especially the actual legitimate chuds like yourself, don't understand the value of the culture. And that's why the left was able to get into video games, get into the gaming space, and really the entertainment space as a whole and take over and infect this stuff and rule it with an iron grip and then you are so disconnected you are so out of touch and your beard is draining all the brain cells from your tight little noggin that you think huh this hasn't been touched on a lot when it has been a constant source of news for the last decade yes even in the mainstream news and I would not consider Daily Wire mainstream I mean maybe nowadays they've gotten to the point of being mainstream but they're at least not that old guard they're not the Fox News they're not the CNN so yes just because it's new to you guys does not mean this is new news and does not mean that this is something that everyone's eyes are just opening up to. Sweet Baby Inc. detected on Steam wouldn't have gotten over 275,000 followers in two weeks if this was new to the vast majority of people. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead. Let's see what you got. So let's see what else you got. As children spend, many of them, hundreds of hours a year, and that might be an undercount, a severe undercount, uh, 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 with this kind of content. So it should get, it our, get a lot of our attention. And now finally, that attention is here. Fine, finally, finally, that attention is here. What would we ever do without the bearded wonder here, without Walrus Boy to say, look, everybody, wokeness in video games, it's a problem. I'm, frankly... I true, I truly do appreciate Matt Walsh for bringing this situation before all of our eyes, as if we had never once seen it before. Frankly, I don't even know what all my past videos for the last year, year and three months have been about because I had never once considered wokeness in video games. Like, like I, I made a video earlier today about how Resident Evil 5 was going to be getting, you know, possibly an entire rewrite instead of a remake if IGN gets their way, if people like Polygon and the Mary Sue get their way, but it didn't occur to me. I wasn't, I wasn't covering wokeness in video games because... Uh, nobody apparently aside from the Daily Wire has ever been shining a light on this stuff until now So I don't know what my angle was It was probably some crazy leftist angle where I was saying something along the lines of yeah Go ahead and rewrite the entirety of the game because the original version is so racist I know that doesn't sound like something I would say but it must have been since this is Matt Walsh and the Daily Wire being the first ones To ever actually take on wokeness in video games. It hasn't been covered very often apparently to minus give or take the last decade or more of YouTube and it's yet another reason to keep these games as far away from your children as possible. And if you do that, games journalists, literally the lowest form of journalists on the planet. Okay, while I do agree with him, 
You do not have a lot of room to talk right now, Sparky. Like, l look at what you're doing with yourself. You're sitting here completely and utterly grifting on a situation you know nothing about, claiming it's journalism, complete and utter disingenuous attitude towards the entire medium you claim to care about in this instance that you claim to care about the wokeness of or the infection of, and you call these game journalists the lowest form of journalism. Now again, I do agree, but you are not better enough to justify that statement. We'll accuse you of harassment, and that's exactly how you'll know that you're doing the right thing. Now let's get to our five Is that the video yeah, so needless to say, Matty Boy, uh, that, that, that rant did not take him, would not win him any uh, favors with the individuals who are covering the sort of you know, modern day gaming situation. Uh, we got D-Day Cobra here. Matt Walsh is the first person to highlight wokeness in video games industry, according to Matt Walsh. And Matty Boy didn't like this tweet very much. He ended up going on a block spree. Uh, he and a few other Daily Wire employees, uh, D-Day Cobra got blocked. Uh, I think Jeremy from The Quartering got blocked. Uh, Grums, who is honestly a great source of information on X when it comes to the gaming space. Grums got into an altercation with, uh, Matt Walsh's little errand boy. So, let's see what else is being said. Gamers are mad at Matt Walsh because, checks note, because he has kids, Daily Wire staff, Greg Ree. So yeah, this, this is what Greg Ree had to say, uh, again, one of the other individuals, the, the, the Matt Walsh's little errand boy. That could be another vector for the envy they have, to be honest. So Chris Burnett said, he has six young children and works long hours. I don't think he has much time for fun hobbies. R really? If, if he has six young children and works long hours, how do you have time to, I don't know, write an entire children's book or, or you know, sit around and smoke all those cigars that he's so proud of? Like... Absolutely. I am very sure that, uh, uh, you know, the, the Bearded Wonder has hobbies. Just not ones that are, you know, looked at upon as, oh, these are so childish. These are so destructive. I bet he does some, like, woodworking in his garage. And that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I know individuals that love, you know, playing pickup games of basketball. And then when they get home from the night, they play some Nintendo. Like, there's nothing wrong with having hobbies that are different from one another. But when you can like consistently for the last several years attack certain hobbies attack certain viewpoints attack frankly all of nerd culture for being real which is at this point just culture the culture you claim you want to save yeah you, you can't be too surprised when the entire uh, you know like sect of the population that loves this stuff has seen you hate on it for the last 10 years or however long it's been five years whatever and then when you start doing articles about it or you start doing segments about it on your show they look at you and say what a disingenuous grifter. He's been telling us how much this shit doesn't matter for the last five years. It's clearly there for culture war clicks. You don't actually care. You don't actually give a shit. And that's going to take those of us that do this because we do care, that the the make these videos every single day, that actually want to see change in the industry, that actually do want to see video games be great again because they are an ultimate source of entertainment. They're the largest entertainment industry in the world. And not just because parents are buying them for children, by the way, even though he had that entire rant about how kids play hundreds of hours a year or whatever there's a lot of adults playing video games as well even if you might not consider us adults the fact of the matter is children teen young adult old adults grandparent it doesn't really matter when they see someone like you with the asinine assumptions that everything like video games or comic books or movies or whatnot is for children and then you decide to make this article talking or this segment about how amazing it is that we can call out the wokeness people can tell it's a grift and ain't nobody like a grifter matty boy let's see what does what, what dan vasquez have to say. So Matt Walsh said, I love when people just completely invent shit I never said or even came close to saying and then get all mad about the thing they invented in their heads. Dan Vass says, Matt Walsh reminds me of that quote by Brennan Manning, the greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians who acknowledge Jesus with their lips, walk out the door and deny him by their lifestyle. This is what be this is what an unbelieving world simply finds unbelievable. And honestly, that's a pretty damn uh, good quote for that sort for this whole situation that's going on here. I can't argue with it. We we got Grums. Now, I, I very much appreciate, you know, Grums' situation on this because he actually uh, you know, talked to the Daily Wire a little bit after this situation happened to say, hey, someone that's actually an expert in games should probably come on the show and talk about games. And the Daily Wire basically told him, piss off, you're not worth our time. And Grums was like, all right, time to go scorched earth. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to read this statement because at this point it, it, it's pretty old. Just know that uh, the show of good faith here, the show of goodwill... Yeah, that got burned a long time ago. Matt Walsh from the Investors of Sweet Baby Inc. League. Please don't be a Jew. Please don't be a Jew. Please don't be a Jew.
Uh, Matt Walsh is a cringe lord religious conservative type that thinks that everybody just converted the world would be a utopia. Everything is controversial. He says to own libs. I've been saying it for years. He's just a shot jockey conservative cuck with milk toast opinions. Now it really bothers me that Mr. Obvious put milk toast wrong. It's M-I-L-Q-U-E, but you know what? Whatever it is, what it is. The fact of the matter is, nobody's on Matt Walsh's side. No, not a single goddamn person. I have not seen. I've been looking through tweets about this. I was doing it all last night. I was doing it this morning. I've been looking for tweets talking about the situation for literal hours and I didn't see any of them that were pro Matt Walsh except for other Daily Wire employees which has got to show you well I mean like do you guys remember when the Sweet Baby Ink stuff started two weeks ago and nobody absolutely nobody was on the side of Sweet Baby Ink yeah, that's happening now with the reverse. That's happening with Matt Walsh, and you love to see it because this, if anything, this is proof that the individuals that you're, you know, claiming that Sweet Baby Inc. is saying, oh, they're harassing us, all these right-wing gamers. Really? Because Matt Walsh is right-wing. In fact, Matt Walsh is about as right-wing as you get while, you know, still being you know, like le- legitimately A-OK in terms of not doing illegal things. Point is, Matt Walsh is about as right-wing as you get, and you've got the entire collection of gamers the world over saying, fuck this moron. So if that doesn't show you what actual right-wingism is, and of course it won't, you're not going to care. You're going to probably think that everybody's agreeing with him or, or whatever. You're, you're going to think, "Where's the oh, the gamers are so right-wing and hateful, even they're attacking Matt Walsh. But no, this is what it comes down to. We gamers, we don't give a shit about your politics. Yes, we might have individuals in our lives that we want to vote for, you know, causes that we believe in, things that we want to see done in the government, but when it comes to the actual gaming space, we don't give a shit about your politics. We want politics on both sides out of gaming. People didn't just look at this and say, oh, our lord and savior, Matt Walsh, the conservative king, is finally talking about video games. Let's go, son! Uh, yeah, no. We saw looked at him and saw, what a disingenuous douchebag. Get this shit out of gaming. Get it out of gaming on the left, get it out of gaming on the right, if the right ever had a chance of inv- you know, installing itself into gaming, which we all know they don't because we just see how they handle culture, but the fact of the matter is we want games that are apolitical in terms of modern day bogus that no one actually cares about because this is escapism. But those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below or let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about video games, although that has been such a large portion of it lately. But anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you know it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon. And become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord. Choose the articles that I cover. And it is a great time. Also use discount code Vital Idol. Get yourself some money off of a mug or a shirt. Rep that stuff. Tag me in it on X. And until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.